<laughs> Welcome back to the break. Uh, someone has been uh, dishing out government jobs. <laughs> have my, my last shot before you go to the politics. Yes, I, I just want to take a look yeah. at some feedback before I kill you. Yeah, sure. Uh, can you have uh, the tweet um, from engineer Lazaro? He said the government should take full responsibility for that mess. No way a responsible government would leave individual companies to control prices of essential goods without regulations from the ministry. There's another one here from uh, Kanem Kenya. You want to read it? Right. Um, he says, this is on Twitter at uh, Citizen TV Kenya. Today the prices of basic commodities have gone off the roof and Wanjiko is dying of hunger. But all 2017 leadership cares is 2022 and self. Both government and opposition are united to eat Wanjiko. Kenyans are sleeping on foreign floors. That's the Gormaya team. I hope you saw that story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like Chokoras, most Whoa. 2017 elects are cast to Wanjiko. So th th that's what Kenyan feels, and of course you may forgive them for linking a lot of issues, but uh, the reality of the matter is that they are feeling the pinch. You wanted to say something? No, well, uh, well th th thanks, Sam. I, I wanted to uh, just first, that's exactly what I had wanted first to, to introduce. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the ripple effect of, of just the pronouncement mm -hmm. that the price of oil has gone um, up by five shillings. Mm -hmm. You know, five shillings might sound like it's, it, it, it's small, mm -hmm. uh, probably to either if it's a market or anyone, but, but the general effect on the economy, the ripple effect is massive because mm -hmm. what that means is that it is very likely that tomorrow Kenyans will be paying much more when you want to ride a market from here to a workplace. But that means that when you want to go and buy a packet of hunger, it's going to cost you more. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so when, when we are looking, for example, at the mandate we've given to ERC and the other players around, and then what should be expected of them, uh, that's precisely what they should be thinking. Mm -hmm. Then Zinzi had, had asked a, a, an important question, uh, and that was, you know, if, if we were to look at where we are, and for example, supposing we, we were to exploit reserves that we have even in the ocean, mm -hmm. would we do so? And, and I tell you, really, it is simply a matter of a decision to make. Mm -hmm. If you make the decision that you will do it, and then you can do it, and we can do it. Okay. I mean, uh, other countries have done it. That, 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 that's, it's as simple as that. Uh, we can choose whom we want to be. For example, if you look at uh, uh, a country like Congo, Congo is, is renowned in the whole world as, as one of the most blessed countries in this world with natural resources. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the global scale and listing of the world, poorest countries, it, 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 it ranks the, 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 the highest. Mm -hmm. And yet there are countries, for example, look at South Africa, uh, just that, uh, you know, pre and immediately post apartheid period. And uh, look at how did it exploit and use its natural resources. Right. I mean, they were, they were way ahead. I just gave an example a bit earlier of a country like Norway mm -hmm. with those only oil reserves that they have and it's a very small country with a very small population mm -hmm. and they've done it. So I, I believe it's a matter of resolve, having the right policies and then having, of course, uh, the, the right penalties that are applied and employed when uh, wrong is done. Okay. Uh, probably just to, to, to summarize it is, uh, is, is on that uh, question on the role of um, Kenya Pipeline. And, and I think Kenya Pipeline has got to play a more pivotal, clear and transparent role in, in ensuring that um, Kenyans enjoy uh, a price that is well regulated and that is not overinflated. Okay. I, I believe like that discussion that, that, that we had here earlier on um, one, uh, what have they, they done to ensure that we have enough retention and storage? Two, in, in carriage and storage of that oil in, in the pipeline, and maybe we don't, we don't need to go into those details here because they're, they're, they're lengthy, but, but then how are they negotiating with, with, with marketers? And thirdly, you know, how are they becoming or re remaining responsible for the mandate we've given them? I believe like that discussion on, on what they did when we were trying to replace the 50-year-old pipeline, which has, I was one of the people who went to uh, to install that pipeline in uh, in uh, one of the areas in Ukamani where there was a major spillage. Yes. And, 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 and Kenyans and young school children were suffering and being hospitalized mm. because they're consuming water in a whole region mm. where oil has spilled and it is seeping through. And they, when they dig a borehole in their school, they're actually taking, t taking uh, contaminated water. Mm -hmm. and, and so the decision to replace that pipeline should have been taken as somebody as, 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 as it should. Right. But then ask yourself, what do they do? 
Uh, in my belief, and I believe we will have that discussion with, um, with my colleague here, Senator Ole Olekina. Now, I served in, that, in, in the Energy Committee in the previous uh, house. Uh, you know, a house. Mm -hmm. uh, those guys just simply made a mess of that thing. I mean, uh, if, if you, for example, you ask yourself, um, Senator, maybe when you have time, you look at, at, at their documentation. I mean, how do you come and tell uh, Kenyans that we, we gave you a job at 42 billion? You are saying we are complete at 97%, we are ready to hand over, and then the following morning, you come with a request for a variation for more than 50% of what you are paid earlier. You okay. know, I mean, you know, you, you know so, so probably, and what we are saying is, um, as long as you have Kenyans who want to place their personal interests, and especially this looting stuff, mm. uh, you know, th th then uh, nothing can work right.